eyes will close forever in the sleeping den. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Jackoween video. Today we are transforming into the old witch from the classic Snow White. This was so much fun to do. This was my first time using a prosthetic, which was exciting. So I'm I'm really, really excited for this video. And I am recording this voiceover without typing out my script first. So we are just kind of free handing this voiceover, so wish me luck. And without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. All right, here we go. I don't know why I'm so nervous that I don't have a script right now, but I got this Witch Hazel set from the Halloween store. It comes with a prosthetic nose and chin. So I'm just placing it on my nose to see how it's gonna fit. And it's such a weird shape, like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> and then when I breathe, it does this which just had me dying. So what I decided to do was take pieces of like a little sponge and just rip it apart and fill it in with the nose so that way when I breathe it doesn't like, <laughs> doesn't move and change its shape and look super like fake and flimsy. So I wanted to give the nose some shape, some firmness, you know what I mean? So once I did that, I went ahead and took some spirit gum, which I also found at the Halloween store, and you put it on the edges of the prosthetic and then allow it to dry and get a little tacky, similar to how we apply false lashes. We wait for the lash glue to dry before applying our lashes. Same, same idea. And then I thought I was going to use the little prosthetic chin that it came with, but quickly discovered that that was gonna be a no-go. That just did not work for this look, so we're gonna ditch that for now. Now we need to try to blend down these edges of the prosthetic, which is a little tough, but I'm gonna take my liquid latex and with one of my little silicone sponges, this actually worked out perfectly and it didn't ruin it at all, I'm gonna take some liquid latex and place that on the edges of my nose and just kind of drag it out. And you're gonna to wanna to do a few layers of this to build the, I don't know, build the latex up. So that way we can try to eliminate the harsh edge between the prosthetic and our skin if that makes sense. And then while I'm at it, I'm also going to apply this liquid latex all over my face, trying my best to avoid any hair. So like my eyebrows and my little baby hairs around my forehead. Um, don't wanna get those because it will hurt when you remove this, but I'm going to apply this all over my face because when it dries, it gives sort of this wrinkly texture and we are transforming into an old witch. So it just makes sense to age our skin. And I found that this was the best and easiest way to really accentuate all those wrinkles, all those fine lines. So that's what I'm doing here. You want to give the liquid latex time to dry and once it's dry we're going to just dust over some powder just to eliminate that shine and then I'm going to go ahead and block out my eyebrows with a glue stick. If you are unfamiliar with how to block your brows or cover your brows, I do have a detailed tutorial on how to do that. So you can click the link in the top right hand corner right now to check out the video that I created on how to block your brows. And the reason we want to do this is because we're going to create a whole new set of brows for this look. So now that our brows are blocked, we can go ahead and work on the face. So now I'm gonna take my foundation and I'm just applying it onto a little cosmetic sponge and I'm just going to apply this all over my face and make sure you apply it onto the fake nose as well because as you can see, it does not match our skin. So we need to change the color of that fake nose and have it blend in a lot better. I'm also gonna go in with my concealer. So right now it really just feels like we're doing regular face makeup. So go ahead and apply your foundation, concealer, and powder how you normally would. Now I'm gonna take my black pencil liner and create our new brows. And normally I take my nude eyeliner pencil, which you can definitely do that here. And use it kind of as your little safety blanket when creating the shape of the brows. But today I guess I just felt really bold and daring. So I just went for it. So I am just going to create this shape and I'm making this one pretty high arched. And then the other one, I'm gonna create it a little lower. So they're gonna look really uneven right now, but that kind of matches like this facial expression that the old witch has in a lot of photos. So I thought it was fitting and I really like how it turned out. 
it just makes the look more expressive. So we're gonna have two different shaped eyebrows and honestly, it makes creating them a lot easier because if you mess up, it's okay because they don't match anyways. And then now I try to create a little wart on my nose, but ignore this step because we're gonna do it differently in a little bit later on. So just ignore the little wart that I have right now. And now I'm going to create some wrinkled and more expression marks. So um, I'm doing two lines above the higher arched brow and then one line on the lower arched brow. Now with my black eyeliner, we're going to create the shape of the eyes. So we're gonna make them very large and very huge. So I'm going from the front of the brow to the end of the brow and then just creating this big circle and connecting them together like this. So I'm just gonna do that on both sides. With the same eyeliner pencil, I'm gonna create a smaller circle in both of the eyes. We're eventually gonna fill in that space with a white color, but I'm gonna save that for the very end because I don't want it to crease as I work on the rest of the face. So now with a dark gray eyeshadow, I'm going to fill out the outer circle right here, and I'm just going to cover the entire space on both of my eyes. How am I doing on the voiceover so far? I feel like it's not too difficult for me, but I feel like it definitely takes me a lot longer to record when I don't have a script right in front of me to read. When I type out a script, it just makes recording the voiceover so much easier. Um, but anyways, back to the tutorial. Now, I'm not sure why I decided to erase these expression marks because I put these exact same expression marks back on to this spot later on in the video. So this was really pointless. I don't know why I did this, because I went back and added it anyways. But I did um, remove that little wart that I created because again, like I said, we're gonna fix it and make it look even better. Okay, so taking my black eyeliner pencil, I am re-adding those exact same expression marks back above my eyebrow. <laughs> it makes no sense, but it is what it is. So after that, I am gonna go ahead and, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Hurry up, Jackie, what are you gonna do? So now I am going to take my same eyeliner and outline the perimeter of the eyeball just to make it more defined. So I'm creating more expression marks around the eyes and I'm pretty sure I go in later on and erase these as well. I just could not make up my mind with the expression marks I wanted to make in this video. So ignore this part right now. Now don't ignore this part because this one we're actually doing. I am creating the gigantic mouth and I'm just looking at a picture for reference. So this is going to be huge. It's extending way past our actual mouth and it's starting actually right under our nose. So where our prosthetic is, I'm just kind of extending it outwards and then drawing it down towards my chin and then connecting it. So we have like this kind of canoe shape on our face. Does that look like a canoe? Sort of, it sort of does. So for the tongue, it's actually going to be our entire lower lip and I am just extending it downwards from the corner of my mouth like this and that whole bottom part we're gonna fill that in with red and that's gonna be the lip. This will all make sense if you're looking at a reference picture. And then I'm also gonna draw in her one little tooth. And of course, here we go again with more expression marks. Do they stay? Who knows? Only time will tell if I decide to erase those or not. I guess those expression marks were very short-lived. Goodbye, expression marks. I'll see you again soon. So now I decided I'm just gonna focus on the mouth. So I am tracing over the perimeter to define the lines a little bit more, and then I'm taking my black eyeliner and then just filling in all of the blank space in the mouth like this, and then going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I'm just gonna paint my one little tooth white. And then going in with this red cream face paint that I got from the Halloween store. This thing has come in handy. I've used it with almost all of my Halloween looks. I'm gonna use that and paint the tongue part of the mouth. And then just to make the black in the mouth more prominent and more dark, I am gonna go in with a black face paint and just paint right over that. 
Here I am just trying to figure out what to do next and also really feeling the character coming to life as well. Like, I see it. You guys see it? I see it. So now here's the part where I try to redo the little wart on the nose and I try to just paint it on and create shadow and depth and all that kind of stuff um, and just create dimension with this wart. But then Johnny, he's like sitting across from me. He's like, why don't you take a piece of like toilet paper or something? And I'm like, oh my gosh, Johnny, you are a genius. So that's exactly what I did. I took a little piece of tissue paper, balled it up into a tiny little ball and then slapped on some liquid latex to glue it right down onto my nose. And it worked out perfectly. So it did take a little bit of time to allow it to dry and actually stick onto the nose and I had to put a few layers on. But once I did that, I painted over it the color that a wart should be, or at least the color that it looked like in the picture. And there we go. I am so happy with how it turned out. So now I'm going to create the chin and I created basically two little parentheses on my chin like that. The old witch, the old hag from the movie, she had a very weird, tiny, like circular little chin. It was like the weirdest thing ever. So I'm just gonna create that with black face paint and then I'm going to extend it outwards to create more like negative space so that we kind of erase this bottom part of our chin. Basically anything you want to erase when you're doing like costume makeup, you just put black over it. So it like makes it disappear. So we're gonna make this little outer part of my chin actually disappear. So that way it looks like just this center part this little circular center part is our chin. And I'm also going to outline the rest of the face as well. And for this, I just looked at a reference picture again to see the type of face shape that the old witch has because it's definitely not a normal face shape, that's for sure. Oh, would you look at that, more facial expressions. I have no idea if these are gonna stay or not. Let's find out. Okay, I think these babies are staying, so let's just go ahead and move on to the next step. I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm gonna fill in this entire space on our eyeball. This is like, this is the eyeball right here, this giant white space. So I'm gonna fill that in and then go over it with a white eyeshadow to set it all in place because it is a cream product, so it will crease and get all like messed up if we don't set it properly. And even with this white shadow, it still did a little bit of creasing. So if you can find a white face paint that's not as creamy as the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, I think you'll be good to go because the look still turned out great, but I did notice there was a little bit more creasing than I would have liked. So now adding more details to the eyes, I'm gonna take a green face paint and create a small little circle on my lid. So this is actually a lot easier to do than people realize. I feel like you're like, oh, how did you create eyes on your eyes? But it's just like how you would apply your eyeshadow. Like you can keep your eyes open as you're working on them, but just create these little circles right on your eyelid. And then because it is a cream product, you wanna set it. So I'm gonna take a green eyeshadow and just set that right on top. So that is the eyeball color because the old witch has green eyes. And now I'm gonna take my matte liquid liner from NYX and I'm gonna trace out this eyeball part. So very carefully, I'm gonna trace that circle. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna create another little circle right in the center of where that green face paint is. And that's gonna be the pupil of the eye. So now we have our little animated eyeball. And this is obviously, it's gonna make sense when you keep your eyes closed. That's when you can see the whole effect of this. But truthfully, this look still looks awesome when your eyes are completely open as well. So I think by creating and painting this makeup look the way we did by keeping the pupil of the fake eye we created right on the center of our eyelid, I think it's the perfect way to do it because when your eyes are closed, it looks super awesome. And then when your eyes are open, it still looks super awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think we're done with this makeup look. Time to add our wig and finish off this look. But here is what it looks like. I did have to touch up the black eyeliner on the pupil of the eye a few times just because I didn't allow it to dry fully because I opened my eye too quickly. So when you do this step, keep your eyes closed for a little so they can dry a little bit um, before opening them again. Because I had to keep going back and darkening up the black around here, 
but I think that also it ties in with the white that keeps creasing. So just keep that in mind when creating this look that if you are using really creamy products, they're gonna crease easily. So try to find like matte products that are a little more on the dry side. I think that's, you're gonna get the best results that way. So that is it for this makeup look. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had so much fun with this look. Like it was so fun and so creepy to do and I just, I'm in love with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you transform into the old witch, the old hag from Snow White, I would love to see a picture. Send me them, tweet me them, all that good stuff because it'd be so awesome to see. But stay tuned because I have more Jacqueline videos planned for you guys. I love you so, so much and I will see you guys in my next Halloween video. Bye!